Welcome to our show. Thank you so much for joining us today, Delane. I'm so excited to hear about your story. Now, I've been kind of, I've been watching you on social media. We haven't actually officially met. Yeah. I've just been watching all your cool designs and everything that you've been posting. You really have a, a unique kind of uh, sexy style. Um, <laughs> that's that, yeah, that's pushing buttons, and then that um, I think is also very. Uh, it can be for any woman. It can really be for any any style or, or any style of, of fashion a woman is seeking. I really like that it's, I don't know what the word is. I'm not a fashion expert, so I don't know what I'm trying to yeah. sound like I am. But it just seems very um, transferable to different types of, of people's style. How did you, how did you get into fashion? I, now, I know you said you grew up in a small town. Yeah, okay, so it's called Fairview, Alberta, and it's like 3,000 people, mm -hmm. and it just has such a small, like, you know, farm kid community. It's awesome, and I think that's just kind of, like, how my views on life were shaped, really. Like, it's funny because everybody's like, oh, my God, you're, like, this fashion designer. It's so glamorous. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, but I'm a farm kid. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, that just gave me, like, it just gave me a, a sense of community and um really opened my eyes a lot to other local um designers and other small businesses so um a, a huge part of my brand is you know supporting others as well and trying to be eco-conscious of course that's a really big um it's important for me to be sustainable and um i mean my clothes are like so to speak badass but like I try to keep you know my morals like <laughs> in my design too so that small town upbringing <laughs> yeah 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 definitely. well how did how did your how did your growing up in a small community shape your career in fashion um I mean it didn't like being in a, I didn't really know I wanted to be in fashion until I was like in grade 12 mm -hmm. I just would watch all these fashion show like tv shows like what not to wear i don't know if you remember that tv show yeah and i just like loved how they put outfits together and styled and i'm like this is really fun and so like my grade 12th year i started like dressing up a little bit more and people like started to take notice and then um i originally just wanted to be like a stylist and so I, I applied at the Art Institute um, before I graduated. It's in Vancouver. And um, I wanted to be like some sort of an image consultant. But my academic advisor, she put me in a program where you kind of like learn everything, like marketing, design, um, absolutely everything you can think of. And I ended up really falling in love with the design side. So after my first year, I switched my fashion diploma to um, a full degree in design and so after I graduated like I had all the tools to start mm -hmm. my brand basically which I'm really thankful for not living in a city did it cause any setbacks for you in your fashion career I mean like the first four years of my fashion career was started in Vancouver and I mean they don't have a huge fashion industry there but it does have a very good networking community and so I think just through meeting people and attending fashion shows. Um, it's really a small industry there. Like everyone kind of knows everybody. Um, and when I moved to Kamloops for a guy, like we've been together for nine years now. Um, and which, which is awesome now, fashion is so online now. Mm -hmm. It's like, I shop like crazy online and that's kind of where retail is going. So it was actually a great thing for me because most of my brand is online mm -hmm. and that doesn't stop me from traveling all the time. Like, I mean, not right now, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, I have that luxury and privilege of being able to kind of, you know, work for myself and go on like a drop of a hat kind of thing. And, um, before the lockdowns happened, I was able to do Paris Fashion Week and New York Fashion Week a couple times. And so it doesn't really matter where I'm living. It's just as long as I'm putting myself out there and like, you know, making myself um, present on social media and like through events and stuff like that. So did going um, online help to kind of expand your network where now you don't have to live in an urban city to yeah. have a strong fashion career did it help you um create 
the career you want and still then live in a, in a smaller yeah, city. <laughs> absolutely. And I actually thought like it might like affect my career in a bad way at first, but, mm-hmm. um, you know, I've just been really trying to make like an online presence and it's been working. Like if any advice I could give you guys, any business really is just being very present online on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok is something I have to like start using because Mm -hmm. I'm 30, turning 30 next month. And I'm like, okay, like I should probably start like getting Mm -hmm. in with the times. And so just being kind of relevant is Mm -hmm. a huge um, thing with getting your brand out there. Mm -hmm. Um, everyone can see you and you just tag like hashtags are a big thing too and that's a lot of how my retailers have found me is just through an online presence Mm -hmm. how how does living though in a in a city like Kamloops or in our rural area how does it especially with your fashion because it is so forward uh, it's modern it pushes limits and our area is a little bit more conservative when it comes to fashion do you do you find that there that that that, that's a a learning experience or it's like wow oh my goodness like 100 percent. and like back in my early on stages like i would create like the most outrageous pieces just to get my name out there and it worked like i just like completely went like ham on like my designs and like stuff that you wouldn't wear down the street and it's funny when I started having more of an online presence you just kind of like take note of like what is selling Mm -hmm. and people do like basic stuff and I do have some like more ready to wear pieces on my website Um, I think it's just all really about how you're styling it for yourself Um, you know like for my marketing and my online presence like I'll be a little extra with you know the styling and like kind of show different ways that you can wear it but that's the great thing about fashion is you can style it the way that fits you and your lifestyle Mm -hmm. so I try to keep that in mind when I'm designing is like making sure that everybody can wear this (laughs) in some way yeah um can you tell us about your new collaboration with Shein yeah, Shein. Okay, I've been calling it Shine forever. And oh. Some, and literally, like, a month ago, I was like, oh, Shein. And my mouth is still trying to say Shine, so I'm still, like, getting used to it. <laughs> um, so a complete, like, stranger on my Facebook, like, I don't know if she'll be watching this video, but thank you. Um, she messaged me on my messenger and was like, hey, have you heard of this new Shine X um, launch mm-hmm. that they're doing? It's basically just all independent designers that they're trying to support. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, no, um, let, me, like, let me look at in, into it. And so I was like, oh, cool. It's actually really nice that they're supporting like small businesses. And so I emailed them about their Shine X program. I'm like, you have to fill out like an application and put your website and all your you know social media handles and stuff. And then like within 24 hours, they email me back and like, they're like, yeah, let's do this. I'm like, yes. Whoa. So I was super excited. Cause like, I mean, Shein is yeah. like the it, biggest retail yeah. company ever now. It's worth like $15 billion now. It's Whoa. like crazy. <laughs> You're like, um, wow. But, so I kind of like took a step back because my brand is based on sustainability values. And so I definitely had to think about it for a couple of days. I'm like, how, how can I navigate this? Um, I mean, Shein is very fast fashion. There's a lot of changes that they need to make to be sustainable and eco like friendly and all of that. Um, and I was thinking, I'm like, man, like, should I just bow out? Is this something that is in line with my values? And it's mm-hmm. not. So instead I thought instead of like running away from this, I'm just going to face it head on mm-hmm. and be like, Listen, I'm a sustainable brand. If you want to do co- collaboration with me, listen, you yeah. billion dollar fashion company. Yeah. I'm here to tell you. Yeah, in some way, I'm like, I'd love to do this. And I like, if we can do this in a sustainable way and use recycled fabrics and maybe offer carbon neutral shipping, it's like something mm. little to maybe set an example for other retailers. So yeah. that's my plan is to try to change the game a little bit in fast fashion. Uh, have they given you a response? Yeah, they're so yeah. completely supportive about Whoa. it. And I'm like, thank God, because like, <laughs> this is, like, this is yeah. like a huge deal for me because it's I huge. can act like, you know, like yeah. my brand, you know, it's on the higher end price point mm-hmm. um, of luxury or whatever. And this is 
gives me a whole different demographic that yeah. people can I mean I am personally a thrifter I yeah. love vintage stuff and if I can get a shirt for five bucks like it's the best day ever yeah. and so it's great that people with that um, you know does maybe they're in school or they're a single mom and they can't really afford like luxury goods they can access my brand and spend between 20 bucks to 50 bucks to a piece and that's like a huge huge like thing I haven't yeah. been a part of that market before that's exciting. Congratulations. And you're really proving the point that you don't have to live in Toronto or LA or New York to have yeah. a strong fashion career. You can be a fashion designer here in, in the Thompson Nicola region. So yeah. that, that's a great, uh, you know, really opening the doors to youth who, like yourself, might be, you know, watching this, living in a rural community or an indigenous community, what yeah. advice would you give to these youth about going into a career in fashion? What are those, t what, are, what are those tips that you would offer today for them? Yeah, I mean, it does help to have, like, some sort of schooling, or even if you're just kind of on YouTube, like, really teaching yourself, like, a lot of the stuff that I know now is because of what I've self-taught through, like, tutorials and stuff, like, mm -hmm. your fashion and, you know, techniques are always evolving, so it's important to, like, educate yourself on, like, what's new and what's fresh, but I think the biggest thing for people that want to start a business or a fashion brand is they don't really know where to start, and I think... For me, I would say just to start some, with a, something very simple. Teach yourself how to make a tube top, something very simple, and then master that craft, and then take pictures of that craft, and you know, learn different ways of lighting. You really have to kind of put a bunch of hats on when you're starting a brand. Like you have to know mm -hmm. how to Photoshop and take pictures and stuff. But I think if you just start with something simple and just start somewhere, create yourself an Instagram page even if it's just little scrunchies, you know, come up with a name yeah. and just, you don't even need to have a website right now. Just accept e-transfers right now. Like, mm -hmm. um, and I mean, the most vital thing is just to be passionate about what you're doing. Cause if you're not, it's probably not going to go anywhere. Like if you have that drive to keep growing yourself, then you'll succeed. Like no problem. Yay. That is so awesome. Oh, I'm so excited <laughs> for you. I'm glad I got to talk to you. Yeah. Now, where can people go and get your fashion? Um, so on Instagram, um, it's at Delane Dixon. And my website is the same thing, Um And I ship internationally everywhere. And if you do go shopping, you can use a discount code of <laughs> welcome 10 and it'll just give you like a nice little 10% off too. Yay. Thanks. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> People are gonna like, yes, let's go for it. And when can we can, when can we expect your launch with Shein to happen for yeah, the, so that, for the um, we're shooting for September. So that's like oh, the wow. plan, but like, yeah, with manufacturing overseas stuff, it's, um, you know, there's sometimes little mishaps. So hopefully September, but it'll That's definitely be around fall time. All right. Thank you so much for joining us here today on Sun Valley News. You're welcome. I'm, I'm excited I got to talk to you. Thank you so much.